Hello again everyone, it's Mindale here and I have another little tech demo to show you uh, for the Gambuino. If you don't know what the Gambuino is, check the link below. Uh, it's a crowdfunded handheld console. This is just the PCB uh, without the case and uh, I was lucky enough to get one to play with before everybody else uh, to do a bit of development work with it. And yeah, I've uh, just got a, another little demo today. I was uh, just kind of thinking, well, I'd like to see if Gambuino what it's like at maybe rendering 3D. Is it able to do simple 3D scenes? And uh, this demo took probably about three or four hours to put together. It's very, very simple, but let me just fire it up. Um, I've got a little uh, 3D dungeon here, and sort of, uh, obviously, Wolfenstein 3D was sort of what I was aiming for. I'm not quite there yet, uh, but it's, it's a nice, uh, simple little demo that I think demonstrates or illustrates quite nicely that uh, 3D worlds and 3D rendering will indeed or are indeed possible on Gambuino. Um, you'll have to forgive my terrible art skills here. I I cannot draw to save myself. Um, I am a programmer, not an artist, so please excuse me. I'm, I look at some of the things that are being submitted on the uh, Gambuino forums, and it's just amazing. I look at you guys in awe, wondering how you could do it, but. Um, look, this, this, uh, the source code for this, I'm going to put this up on the Wikipedia page by the time you see this, uh, it'll be there. So if you want to have a little play around yourself, go for it. Um, here's a nice big open area. I was wondering if the aliasing, how well it would look when, you know, the walls go off into the distance. And yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit distracting, but it's not, it's not too bad. I mean, this is, this is perfectly playable, I think. I think there's a lot of, uh, a lot of games that you could probably make with this. Um, I haven't made any attempt to optimize this code at all. I mean, it's everything's still using floating point variables, and you know, Game Boy is an 8-bit machine. It doesn't have any native floating point support or math copros or anything. So the fact that it's running as fast as it is, I think, is pretty impressive. A um, lot of a uh, lot of clock cycles to spare on the Game Boy, no? Uh, but very very little RAM. So you know, anyone who's designing their games now, you might want to start taking that into account and maybe start thinking how you're going to use all those extra clock cycles. AI um, is a terrific example of something that I think Game Buena would be really good at. Doesn't really require, a, you know, do, do, doing like A star heuristic guided uh, searches and, you know, with alpha beta pruning, um, you could actually do some pretty good stuff on, on this little handheld, I think. Um, yeah, okay, well, that's it. Um, just wanted to make a video of it show it off like i said source code is all uh is all on the wiki so feel free to grab it um send me a message if uh if you have any questions and uh yeah i hope you like the demo uh we have 11 days left on the campaign uh so if, uh, if anyone's sitting on the fence and you uh haven't committed to actually getting uh, a game bueno yet hopefully uh this will just show you one more thing that it can do and hopefully you can Join the rest of us and order one quickly before time runs out. So thanks for watching. Everyone have a great Easter long weekend and uh, I'll see you next time.